You know, we learned that God acts a certain way and is a certain way because we don't expect Him to be the way we are. Most people expect God to serve their needs because He's so much more powerful and it's nothing to Him that they got to serve, they got to, you know, they, they need provision for. So God is expected to serve them, but wait a minute. Hold on a minute, that's not what God does. God is here to save us from our sin. Saving us from our sin is very different than serving us, beloved. We need to understand that. And in today's Psalm, we're gonna see how God does that. Get your Bible guides and turn to today's passage because today is very good. Now, if you don't have a Bible guide, you can write to the address at the bottom of the screen. Send an offering in any amount, we'd be happy to send it to you. They're new every year, every month they're new, and we write them and put them together. God reveals different things every month, or you can go to www.biblediscoverytv.com. When you go there, click on donate, make a donation in any amount. Now, as we focus on this, there's only one way to really put the ways of truth, and that is God saves the righteous. Now, you might think that's a redundant statement, but hold on a minute. God doesn't save the ones who think they're righteous. God doesn't save the ones who say they're righteous, but God saves the righteous, those who are righteous. And let me tell you something. The righteous are people who don't say I'm righteous all the time. The righteous are people who say God is righteous. Very important to remember that. We read Psalm 29 to 32 as we go through the Bible. We're looking at Psalm 31, 1 to 15. Father, I pray today that you would hear us as we expel ourselves in the word of God. We want to listen to what it says, not put what we think in it, but help us to hear what your word says to us today. In Jesus' name, help us to do it. Amen. Look at the first verse. This is fascinating. I, I, I love this. Ch uh, chapter 31, verse 1. In you, O Lord, I put my trust. There it is again. In you, O Lord, I put my trust. Now, this is something he says. He says, let me never be ashamed. Deliver me in your righteousness. Not my righteousness, but your righteousness. Bow down your ear to me. Deliver me speedily or quickly. Be my rock of refuge, a fortress of defense to save me. For you are my rock and my fortress. Now that's interesting, a rock and a fortress. Therefore, you and your names, for your name's sake, lead me and guide me, pull me out of the net, which they have set secretly and laid for me. For you are my strength. Into your hand I commit my spirit. Your hand, into your hand I commit my spirit. You have redeemed me, O Lord God, of truth. You know, this is an amazing passage of scripture. Beloved, we need to remember this. When we are redeemed by God, he promises to protect us from evil. God will protect us. Now, evil happens to everybody. And you might say, I'm going through an evil time right now and the evil things are, but there's a difference between a spiritual warfare and the discipline of the Holy Spirit. You know, the discipline of the Holy Spirit comes when we don't do the things of God when we do the things that are not of God. That's a, that's a problem. Because the bearings of that, that's the discipline of the Holy Spirit. But when we do the things that God tells us to do, and we repent and all of that, and then there's a spiritual warfare, and it's not over until God speaks. When God speaks, then it's over. That's something very important we need to consider as we read on. In chapter 31, verse 6, it says, I have hated those who regard useless idols. Useless idols. But I trust in the Lord. I trust in the Lord. I will be glad and rejoice in your mercy, for you have considered my trouble. This is amazing. You have known my soul in adversities and have not shut me up into the land of the or the hand of the enemy you have set my feet in a wide place god knows how we are beloved our foundations are firmly planted in the lord jesus christ when we serve him we must focus our life everything in it on the lord there are a lot of people who don't do that 
And my recommend, they have a specific recommendation for those people who don't do that. Stop it. Start focusing your life, everything in your life, on what God says and what God wants in his word. Start reading the word of God. Join us. I want to encourage you. Start praying. Because God is speaking. And especially right now in today's world, let me tell you, God is speaking to Christians everywhere. And the believers in Jesus Christ know it. And they're just doing what God says because God has a plan. Now, it's important for us to recognize if our lives are off track, that we're not really tuned into God. When we get tuned into God and get back on track, then we hear things and we're part of the real information going on. Very important. We don't listen to people. We listen to the Holy Spirit. Now, let's move on because this is Psalm 39, 9 to 15. Have mercy on me, O God. Have mercy on me, O Lord, for I am in trouble. My eye waste away with grief. Yes, my soul and my body. For my life is spent with grief and my years with sighing. My strength fails because of my iniquity and my bones waste away. I am a reproach among all my enemies, but I especially among my neighbors and am repulsive to my acquaintances. Those who see me outside flee from me. I am forgotten like a dead man out of mind. I am like a broken vessel. Have you ever felt like this? For I hear the slander of many. Fear, fear is on every side. While they take counsel together against me, they scheme to take away my life. But as for me, I trust in you, O Lord. I say, you are my God. My times are in your hands. Deliver me from the hand of my enemies and from those who persecute me. Now look at this last point. Why does our strength fail? Because of our weaknesses in times of trouble. But God's strength never fails. God mercifully delivers us, beloved. He mercifully says to us, I will deliver you. We, I want to tell you something. You, when you, these songs are amazing. I trust in God with my soul. I trust in God with my life. I wonder how many of us could sing that today and believe it today. That's an interesting question, isn't it? Father, I pray today in Jesus' name that, that we would learn what that means to, to pray and say, I trust you with my life. I trust you with my soul. Lord, help us to do that today. Help us to become the people that you have created us to be. Help us to serve you and follow you in Jesus' name. Thanks for watching. Remember, check out the full episode of Quick Study and follow us on social media. Start your daily devotional today.